Williamson, West Virginia and coal mining were practically synonymous. The mines brought prosperity to the town for generations, but as demand for coal declined, so did the health and well-being of Williamson. Community leaders like Dr. Dino Beckett were determined to turn things around. We're very tied to the history of coal and we're very proud of that heritage. It's just with less uh, opportunity with coal, we have to discover other opportunities that we can still raise our families here and have that ability to live here. We lead the state of West Virginia in categories such as obesity, hypertension, uh, diabetes, and that's where we want to make the impact and, and move the needle in the opposite direction. We want to empower our residents as far as exercising, eating quality foods, learning how to garden, learning how to become entrepreneurs. Sustainable Williamson started as a holistic approach to community development. We were able to take all these components and then tie them together. One key element of Sustainable Williamson has been the community garden. It is located next to lower income housing and gives residents in the area an opportunity to come out and employ their skills as gardeners and entrepreneurs, potentially. Now that bed is pretty good. That's lettuce. Now man, you kill that down with half a dozen onions in there, good piece of cornbread, I'm downtown. That's right. One of the biggest challenges that Williamson has is access to foods that are healthy. We've been able to work with the community on identifying those and, and make it available through a mobile farmer's market or the farmer's market in Williamson. We identified more and more patients that were losing their insurance, that were unemployed, or that, that just couldn't afford to go to the, uh, the doctor's office. The need was so big that we decided, hey, what about opening up a clinic that would be able to service all of these people that they can't afford those uh, quality health care. So in doing so, we had the concept of starting Williamson Health and Wellness, a nonprofit clinic. The Diabetes Coalition is a part of the Williamson Health and Wellness Center. It's an organization that is used to reach out to high-risk patients with diabetes and help them with addressing their needs and getting their diabetes under control. We've been working with Dr. Beck and the rest of the team to really build, you know, this, this community health center. Get everything when we started working with entrepreneurs, we wanted to really encourage um, the same model as far as health and wellness. So we were able to identify people that were already working in this realm. We have people that were starting restaurants based on healthy food. We have people that were wanting to get out and garden and continue the, the legacy that their parents may have given them as far as uh, farming and being able to bring those products to, to serve to the community. We're currently standing on a strip mine site on top of a mountain. Uh, strip mining is also known uh, more commonly as mountaintop removal. This land uh, has been reclaimed and uh, repurposed now for the purpose of agriculture. Uh, mountaintop removal has many negative connotations, but as you can see by looking around this orchard, there are many grape vineyards as well as uh, apple trees, peach trees, and pear trees that are successfully growing here. We've been able to utilize these, sell them at farmers markets, and have uh, people participate and, and uh, enjoy the, the, the fruit of their labor. The task at hand for the community was there were all these problems such as obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. We didn't have a lot of resources, so we were able to identify several groups in the community that were working on various things, and we were able to kind of pull those together under the Blinken Institute of Williamson Health and Wellness Center. When you have that sense of camaraderie that, that people experience here when they work in the coal mines, they rely on each other when it comes to safety and well-being and also that comes out in the community as well. Whenever we have the downturn in the economy, families will help take care of their children or grandchildren or their nieces and nephews if they have to, to move in together to, to overcome the hardship. That's just the way we do things here. So everyone has the, the urgency and the need to look out for their neighbor, their family member, to help them through hard times and then also to enjoy the good times.